Let's get it going with our Trader Rundown. And Todd Bubba Horwitz is here to kick off our trading day. Good to have you here. Great to be here as always. I want to know what you are thinking because it's a holiday week, as you know, but we have Fed comments coming from Janet Yellen on Friday. GDP's coming out on Friday. Some interesting economic news coming out today. There's a lot happening here. It's very interesting, and it's, it's more interesting that the Fed is going to speak right before the holiday. That makes it for some interesting copy here. Uh, but I think more importantly is the GDP number because one of the problems we're having with GDP is if you look at five different Fed offices throughout the, the country, they have five different numbers. Nobody really has a clue of what the growth is going to be here. I think that might have more of a decision. But one thing I always warn into a holiday is that it's going to be very thin. Everybody's going to be on their way to the Hamptons. And it's whatever happens now it's not necessarily what's going to happen whenever we get back to trading. What do you think about stocks to watch? Because we do have some earnings coming into the market. I think, truthfully, this is a, a terrific time to really kind of start your holiday early. I, I, there's a lot of things going on, but we've been so thin and the markets have been really moving up into an air pocket here, trying to test the 18,000 level, maybe to, to make a run at the all time highs again. And this is actually, this would be the perfect storm for that to happen because with markets very thin, you could see a pop through just by accident because again, there's no paper, there's nobody really standing in the way to stop the market from going higher right here. And as far as stock names? I think you, you look at Apple here, I mean, it's approaching 100 again. I think you can take a look at the Amazon as it tries to run up to the new highs. Again, it's very hard for me to get real excited until we see some real volume come back to the market. It's been a very light week all, all week, and today and tomorrow are going to be even lighter. Are you a player in GameStop? You know, I think GameStop is going to make a move to the upside. I think GameStop itself, the company, is in probably big trouble overall. I think it's more like a blockbuster model. However, I think they've already priced in all the bad news that's going to come out on this earnings, and I would be a player here. I think that. I'm using a ratio call spread to be long game stop going into the uh, earnings today. Thank you and have a great trading day. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you.